Hello, Internet. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Wanted to show you a simple game that you can play, and maybe some of you all are out there now or watching this later. This is a fun little game that is free, and it's available. There's a link here on Facebook um, and that I've put that takes you to a site called Board Game Geek. This is a legitimate site, don't worry. And you can download this PDF from there. And as a PDF, you can print it out, or you could use an iPad with a pencil or even your finger to play this game. So um, I, I kind of like, I've got, I've tried a little bit of both. There's something nice about the physical paper and the pencil. Um, the screens get a little tiring, but then this game does hit about, I think, 90 pages. So printing the whole thing out, a little bit of an, an investment, uh, but may be worth your while regardless. Um, so uh, let's investigate this game a little. I had to jerry-rig sort of a um, uh, little way to show what I'm seeing on the paper here. So um, be patient with that. I've also, the things you will need to play this game, you need five six-sided dice. So that's just a standard, uh oh, standard dice there. Standard die is a six sided one. And um, I'm sure there's websites you could use to tell it to roll these five dice. Or uh, you can probably find some in the board games, Monopoly or something like that. There's two in Monopoly. Uh, look in some board games and see if you can find uh, five six sided dice. So mine don't match at all. All right, uh, let's look at this game. And it is. So let's look at our game here. This is bedtime, or no, it is basement, bathtub, bathysphere. And a bathysphere, I think, is just like a little portable, small circular submarine, uh, something like that. Uh, we'll just go with that. <clears throat> and this is what the game looks like. And um, your goal is to get as deep as possible on this track here. And you're going to follow that around and you're going to watch out for your oxygen levels that you can mark off here if you get all the way to the end the game ends over here on the right is the stress on your bathysphere and as it goes down it will take damage you see the little flame there so when you get one two three four five down you would take damage here and if your stress gets all the way to game over or damage, um, it's game over. So this is a resource management type game where you're having to watch your stress, your damage, and your oxygen. It's just like real life, isn't it? Um, so we start out up here, and so let's play. So we got our printout, we've got our pencil, uh, pencil with some eraser, we got another pencil. So I'm gonna roll my five dice here. And this is gonna be our movement. So I have got a five, and a one, and a one, and a three, and a two. And these are the dice that um, we've rolled. This is gonna be our movement. Now, when we land on a thing, we can mark it out and not do what it says, which is pretty handy. If we don't land there, we'll have to do what it says. So that right there is a stress. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna choose this two, right? So I'm gonna use that two, and I'm gonna land right there, which means I can mark that out, and I can use this little side tracker to point where I am, so I've moved two. Now I need to make my next choice. This is pretty good because I can go with this three, I can go one, two, three, and I can mark all of that off. I'll tell you a little more about the slash later. I can mark that off there. So now I'm use these two dice. When you go below one of these diamond shapes, it's that you're going down or up. So it's like pressure or the bends. So you want to watch out however far you go past it is how much stress you'll take. So we want to creep up in here. So I'm going to use this one to go here. So I've used that one and use this one to land there. And since those are gray boxes, they don't do any damage to me. 
Now I mark, I went over the diamond, so I take one stress. Now I have a five left. Now at any time, I can reroll my dice, but it'll cost me an oxygen. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. You guys are uh, bringing me so much good luck here. And uh, I'm going to choose that five. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, and I can land right there. Now I did cross another diamond, so I take one more stress. Also, I passed over this. I can choose one or the other in terms of damage. Since I haven't done any oxygen yet, and that's an oxygen little bubble, I'm going to mark that one off. And then going down here, I'm going to mark off, mark off an oxygen. Our goal is to try to get as far as we can. Um, if we can get down to the ocean floor, we can get some points. If we can land here with these octopus, octopi, we'll get some points. So we want to see as far as we can get. Okay, that's all of our dice. So I'm going to have to mark off another oxygen to re-roll. And here we go. So here's our numbers. I'm going to choose a two because that means I'll land here and not take that damage. See, there's a fire there. So, so it's kind of weird in that when you land on it, it doesn't happen. When you pass over it, it does happen. So it's a little maybe counterintuitive, but as you play it, it'll it'll it kind of makes sense. And what we're going to have to do is come back. And so the more we can mark out, the better off we're going to be. So now I'm going to choose this three. One, two, three, and mark that off. That's pretty good. Now I've got two fours and a five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now I can look ahead. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to choose a four here. One, two, three, four, and land there. These little boxes here, just to help you keep track of where you are in case you get kind of confused. So one, two, three, four, five. So I picked that five, and now I have this four left. One, two, three, four. So I will go there. And I passed over that, so I'll have to do this, um, take this, I'll, I'll choose the stress here. So I lose two stress. And now I'm going to reroll with my oxygen. I, I can roll anytime I want just lose an oxygen, I can roll whatever dice I have. So here's my roll. I've got a 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, and a 6. It's a little strange. Um, I'll go for the 2, and I have discovered an octopus as I went downstairs. Or as I went down, I knocked that over. As I went, as I descended, so yay! So I get one point, and I'll mark him out and circle that. So there's my two. Wait a minute, now I got lost. Oh yeah, I messed up, didn't I? Uh, I don't get that octopus because I can't read. So nice thing about erasers. So I'll erase that, and also I didn't hit. There we go. Okay, so I'm here. I'll choose a one, and I'm here. I'll choose a two, and I'm here. And I'll choose a one, and I'm here. Now I take one more stress, and that means I take a damage. So I'm gonna mark that out. This is the number of dice I can roll, so I can still re-roll five dice. You can see as you take more damage and as you re-roll, you'll only get four and three, so it's going to get um, progressively harder. Now uh, I'm here. I've got a two and a six remaining. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will go here. Now I will get my octopus but I do take one damage. And now I have six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm here. And I'm going to choose an oxygen there. And I guess a stress here. All right. And that's that round. So now I'm going to mark off another oxygen. And I still can roll five dice. And I know that because I've circled the five here. So here's my roll. Got to put it there where you can watch it. And, um, Hello, Ruby. Glad you're watching. Hi, Kathy. Uh, seeing you comment and like, so please comment and like away. You know, it, it, it's maybe a little complicated, but it's like a lot of things. As you do it more, it gets a little, um, you know, if you just keep practicing. I've made a lot of mistakes here trying to play this game, it, um, but but if you keep at it, it is, it's kind of fun and interesting. So um, don't underestimate yourself. So you just keep following this pattern. I've re-rolled my dice, and uh, I'm going to pick a 1 there because that means I can land here and mark that out and not take that damage. So that 1 is off the board, and I'm here. Now I'm going to pick a 2 whoops, so that I can go here and not take that damage. And now I've got a 6, a 6, and a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. Mm. I guess I'll have to do the five. Now I could re-roll with the, and use an oxygen, but I'm feeling a little lucky. So two oxygen, and that's my five. And I guess I'll do a damage. Isn't this fun? It's like a, it's like being in school again. You just get to mark up a paper with a pencil. Very gratifying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. You guys are bringing me so much luck here. This is awesome. And now um, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. I've gotten all the way there. Now a white space like this, you may be wondering, you have to land there to get its power, either discovering or the points. The gray spaces, if you land, if you pass over them, if there's nothing in them, nothing happens. You land on them, nothing happens. If you land on a gray one with these things, you get to mark it out. So, um, so that's how come I don't get to collect this squid here. Okay, another roll. Still get five dice, but if I take one more damage, I'm going to be down to four. Ah, come here. Here's my roll. Got a three, two fours, a five, and a six. So I'm going to pick that three. One, two, three. Remember, our goal is to get as far as we can. We can always turn back if we want, and then we're not going to get many points. So there's my three. One, two, three, four. Ooh, plus two points. Very good. Now, you can't turn around in the same move. You have to go in one direction the whole way. But now that I've landed, or at any point, you can take some dice and go the other way. So I'm going to choose to do that. Now here's the trick. If you land where you've already landed, you'll take stress. So I don't want to go one, two, three, four, because that would mean I'd have to mark another stress. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. I can land there, and I get another. I'm going to call him Squidward, but I know he's really an octopus. So I've currently got five points, too. Three, four, five, assuming, of course, I can get out of here. Uh, so I landed there, and now this track, this is where this becomes useful, because I can see this is where I am now. Before I was going, uh-oh, I mismarked that one. But before I was, the little arrowheads, I was going descending, and now I'm ascending, and so I can follow this track and keep track of where I am. Um, so now I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. So that looks pretty good. And I'm there. One, two, three, four. And now I'm here. Okay. We might make it out. So I've marked off another oxygen. You can see I'm using them up. I've only got one, two, three, three rolls again. If I don't get out, if I hit this one, I'm, it's game over. So, um, 
game is quite ingenious how it really makes you work hard here. Now let's see, where was I? I was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess I'll go here with the two. Ah, I've mismarked a bunch of these. You try doing this in Facebook Live. Just you try. Okay, there's a two. Now, one, two, three, four. Hmm. So if I pass over that, I will take that damage. If I land here, I'm going to take a minus one. So I think I'd rather land here and take that stress. So the rule is if you land any player you've marked, including one of these half marks with the slash, you're going to take some stress. You don't get, that's not a free pass. And if you go over it, uh, you're going to take that. So um, I guess I'm going to land on it and just take the stress. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to land there and I'm going to mark it. I'm going to move that out of the way. So I do take that stress, but I also take two stress because now I'm getting the bends and I'm going back up. So two more stress, and that means another damage. So now I'm down to four dice when I have to reroll. Let's see if we make it. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to go there with this four. because that's basically free parking. Ah, now I'm going to take some more stress here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. I find this game tricky. Um, so that means I take a stress here. And now I've got to take that one. So that's my six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, OK. Things may be looking better. So I get to land there for free, but I do have to take two more stress. No damage. Are you sweating? Are you nervous? I know I am. So I think that was all my sixes, right? I believe so. Or was there one more? Hmm, I think it was my last one, but I'm not sure because I don't remember. Uh, I'm going to say it was. OK, so I'm here. So now I get to use an oxygen, and I can roll three dice, because see, that's where my damage is. I'm going to move those two off. I've got a two, three, and a six. Now it gets tricky. One, two, three. So I don't want to go the two, because I would take stress for landing somewhere I've already marked. And all this is, of course, in the PDF in the first few pages, and it gives you an explanation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to land there. So I'll go one, two, three. There. And now one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is getting close, isn't it? OK. So that's another stress, because I'd already marked it. Now I get, uh-oh, a one, two, and I can land there, but I get another stress. So I'm here, because I'm going to mark that thoroughly. I'm going to reroll one more time. Whew, this is a nail biter, folks. Uh, one, two. I'm going to land on the octopus, the other Squidward, and get another point. So there's my two. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a one and go here. And then one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. How somebody plans it out to make it this painful is amazing. Last roll. Because so if I have to re-roll again, it is game over. See how that's marked? Here we go. Three dice. One, four, and a four. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can't interrupt a move, so I'm going to have to go here. That means I take uh, one stress, and I'm down to two dice. But I don't really care anymore, because I can't really reroll anyway. And one, two, three. Oh, gosh, look at this. One, two, three, 
two more damage. Oh no! One. That was that one. And I've lost. Dang it. So close. Well, if I could have avoided that other damage, so I'd gone up here because I'd passed that line, taken the bends. Um, if I could have re-rolled, so I've lost the game. And of course, if I had abandoned going down lower, it would have worked out better for me. Um, but here's this, and one, six, and three. So just for fun to see where I would have ended up, you can see how close this is. One, two, three, I could have landed here. And that would have cost me two stress, um, so I would—I really was not going to make it. Um, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I was very close to getting at the end. If I had successfully completed it, I would have gotten two, four, five, because they're cumulative seven. So I would have gotten seven points. And so as you play the game, um, and I'm not very far. I'm a couple into the first level they add up and you get other missions and then you add them there's a um, so you can kind of score how you're doing as you go along the way so again this is basement bathtub bathosphere uh, basement bathtub bathosphere is free uh, it's very clever you got to be impressed with someone that would spend this much time uh, creating really a little little product of love like the attention to the detail and different scenarios. There's a lot of funny things in here. You get an aquarium and you'll mark some people off as you get bonus dice and things. So a lot of interesting things here. Um, if you want to try it, go on the link down below and um, this may give you something to do. If you're getting bored and you like some gaming, and of course you could do it outside in this lovely weather, you can do it inside. You can do it on an iPad. You can do it just on pencil and paper. So take a look at that and uh, give me some comments and likes and uh, let me know how you're doing because um, I didn't do so well. Oh well. Goodbye, Internet.